Hello everyone, my name is Christina and I'm a medical student in my second year at Newcastle University and in this video I just wanted to talk about what is case-based learning? This is a question that I get all the time on Instagram and in the comments of my YouTube videos and do you know what, if you only ever heard of PBL, integrated and traditional, I can completely understand why you might be confused about case-based learning and what that is. So this video is going to be a rundown of what case-based learning looks like at Newcastle and some of the pros and cons to help you decide whether or not it's a style of teaching that you would like. So starting off, what is case-based learning? So what it looks like at Newcastle, we learn by cases. So in year one and two, which is where you'll predominantly have your lectures and seminars, and you'll learn all the basics of medical science and medical knowledge. Um, everything you learn is based around cases. So there's 24 cases in total. Uh, there might be 26 actually, but in year one, you have 13, and in year two, you have another 13. And each case revolves around an organ system such as the lungs, um, the heart, hormones, um, your kidney system, the GI tract, so the digestive system. Um, it might revolve around genetic diseases like cystic fibrosis, or it might revolve around things like mental health and stuff like that. And cases normally last around a week. So what happens is you'll have a case launch, which is just um, a lecture which introduces the case. So it might talk about this patient, John, he's 20, he started suffering from anxiety, he goes to the GP and he tells the GP about his symptoms, he then has a follow-up appointment at um, with a psychiatrist and they talk about XYZ and this is what happens afterwards. The cases normally follow that format, it's normally one, sometimes two, three patients, it'll give you some information about like their backstory, we call this their past medical history and it normally kind of gives you a little bit of dialogue in terms of what they say to the GP or the doctor or the surgeon and it just gives you kind of an overview of if this was a real patient what would happen what would it look like what would they say to the doctors what kind of um what kind of things would the doctor say um just it gives you an overview of how would this patient actually present in real life to a doctor so um in the case launch this just gives us a really good overview of the case we already have access to the case before the case launch but um i guess if you haven't read the case already then the case launch is when you would find out more about it so during the case, because it's focused around a patient or two, um, it will focus around like one specific disease. For example, when we learned about the GI tract, um, it was focused on, I think, at first it was a patient with IBS, um, and then it talks about her symptoms, what she was struggling with, the medication that she eventually got, and then how her symptoms improved. But then also you, you won't just learn about IBS and then you would move on to another thing. You'll learn about IBS, you'll learn about um, IBD, you'll learn about um, different um, GI diseases, you'll learn about GI cancers, um, you'll learn about like, all the different things surrounding the GI system. So similarly, when we learn about mental health, the patient in that case, I think had, I think there was two, I think there was one with anxiety, one with depression, but we also learned about OCD, we learned about PTSD, we learned about um, uh, bipolar as well. We didn't just learn about anxiety and depression, we learned about lots of different things in the whole area of mental health. Similarly, when we learn about um, lung diseases, we learn about asthma and COPD mainly, but we learn about lots of other lung problems like um, emphysema and um, what else? Um, fibrosis of the lungs. We learn about so many different things. The case is it's just to give you an idea of how a patient with a lung problem would present, but then you, you will learn about lots of different lung problems as well. So obviously your lectures and seminars will be focused around, for example, the heart and, you know, the heart anatomy, the heart physiology, how, um, so physiology just means how the heart functions normally. Pathology means how the heart functions when it's got something wrong with it. Um, so yeah, you'll learn about all about that in your lectures, what happens in a heart attack, what happens when someone has, um, a regular heartbeat, so arrhythmia, what happens when someone needs a pacemaker. You learn about all those kind of things in your lectures. In seminars, you normally learn about the more um, social science side of things. So you might have communication seminars where you learn how to talk to someone who maybe has a heart problem. In seminars, you learn more about the actual skills doctors need to use to um, speak to a patient or how to just um, treat them in general. We also have clinical skills. So in clinical skills, we learn how to assess a patient with all these different problems as well as how to speak to them. This just means take a history. Take a history means we need to follow certain steps in order to make sure that we find out absolutely everything we need to know in order to take the next steps to treat them properly and maybe diagnose them or prescribe them some drugs. So depending on the case that you're on, you'll learn how to do the OSCE and take a history relevant to that organ system. So when we learn about the heart, we learn how to take a 
cardiac history and to do a cardiac OSCE and when we learned about the lungs we learned how to do a, a respiratory OSCE and take a respiratory history and that's the same for the GI tract and um, it's the same for all the different organ systems as well you'll have you'll kind of learn about every single area of medicine to do with that organ system and on top of that when you go on your placement at Newcastle we call these Ekkies I talk about this more in my what is it like to study at Newcastle video so I'll put that here and in the description box but when you go on placement you will be going on a if you're in the middle of a cardiac case you will be going on a cardiac ward Similarly, if you've just learned about the lungs and you go on your placement um, tomorrow, you'll be going on a respiratory ward. So you'll be going on a ward that treats people with lung problems. So the placement that you go on is always relevant to the, to the content that you're learning at uni and in your lectures as well. The cases aren't the focal point of your learning, it just kind of acts as a springboard. So as, you, as I mentioned earlier, you'll have a case launch and um, that's just to kind of give you an idea of what you'll be learning about over the next few weeks and how if you had a real patient with, for example, asthma, what kind of things would they say to the doctor? What kind of conversation would they have? Just kind of give you um, an idea of how it would present to a real doctor. Um, it's not kind of like you're not assessed on like Jennifer, who's 20, what happened to her? Do you remember what happened in case four? That doesn't happen, it's just kind of a springboard. So you're not gonna be assessed on anything in the actual case. The case is just kind of like a mini story on what a patient in real life would look like. The actual main focus of your learning will obviously be like the diseases, the symptoms, the drugs, um, and just how to actually use these skills to treat a real patient. So don't worry if you're thinking, do I have to memorize the case? No, you don't at all. It's just a like a little story to read. Um, the case is just a little thing for you to read at the start and gives you a bit of inspiration on what you're going to be learning about over the next week or two. So now that hopefully you guys have a really good idea of what CBL is at Newcastle, I'm going to talk about some of the benefits. So in my opinion, I love the fact that it emulates real life. So each case is focused around a real patient. You know their age, you know where they're living. Um, not specifically, you just know that they live in like Newcastle, Gosford, that kind of thing. And it gives you an idea of how this would really present in real life. The cases always include like a little conversation between the patient and the doctor. Sometimes it even includes conversations between the patient's partner or the patient's kids. So that you know, um, what kind of conversations would these people be having in real life to their GP or their doctor? Um, yeah, and just it emulates real life and it kind of gives you a bit of insight into when you go on your placement, um, it kind of tells you what kind of things, what, what kind of conversations would they have? It just gives you an idea. Another thing I love about CVL is that it gives you a really good idea of that area of medicine. So I think at other medical schools where you learn about all the different anatomy, literally head to toe, and then you move on and you learn physiology head to toe, it kind of means that you have to link things together. With case-based learning, because you kind of have an idea of this organ system, what a patient like this would look like, it means that you can just have a really good idea. You're learning about lots of different areas in medicine, and I just think it all ties together really well. So if you're especially thinking about coming to Newcastle, I'm sure you'll be having thoughts about the timetable. What does that look like? I'll include a couple of pictures of what um, my timetable looks like. Obviously, all of my lectures right now are online. We do have a couple of seminars and clinical skills sessions, which are in person. Um, these tend to be quite rare, though. Most of our stuff is online. But in terms of lectures, you'll be learning about lots of different things in anatomy. So that's just the different structures in the body and physiology, which is just how things work and at a cellular level, what things are going on to make sure that this organ functions properly. In your seminars, I think I mentioned earlier, but this is pretty much more the social science side of things. So you'll be learning about um, how to speak to patients, what kind of communication skills you need, how to take a history, stuff like that. Seminars tend to be quite small. Sometimes they're like, 12 to 15 people other times they can be quite big like 60 80 people but you'll break out into smaller groups um so this gives you the chance to talk about different topics in medicine and to kind of have like more of a discussion and then there's placement which we call ecchi at newcastle so on ecchi this is where you get to shadow a gp or a doctor depending on whether or not you go depending on whether or not if you go to a gp or hospital but pretty much you'll be shadowing a doctor who's dealing with the kind of area of medicine that you're learning about so if you're learning about the lungs you'll probably shadow a lung doctor and if you're learning about the um the intestines the digestive system you'll probably shadow a doctor dealing with those kind of problems as well this means that everything that you're learning in lectures you'll be able to apply to the patient and it means you'll get a better understanding of what's happening rather than if you're studying um like the lungs and then you visit a mental health doctor it might be difficult to like link things so i think it makes perfect sense that you obviously shadow a doctor that's linked to what you're learning about 
Hey guys, so this is Editing Christina here. I completely forgot to mention, but at Newcastle we do have some independent study to do. These are called SDLs, which stand for Self-Directed Learning. So you'll be given a tutorial to follow through and take notes from to help you learn that topic. And they're not huge topics. The tutorials tend to be like 20 minutes to an hour long. And we have a few of these with every single case. And in anatomy, um, I mentioned this again in my what it's like to study at Newcastle video, but we learn anatomy by prosection. So this means that you've got the individual structures of a cadaver already cut up and ready for you to look at. So you don't have to dissect the full cadaver, it's already done for you. So again, if you're learning about the kidneys, you'll probably see little kidneys in the anatomy dissection room. If you're learning about the heart, you'll have little hearts already cut up, as well as like the torso in general. And it's the same with the lungs and the digestive system. Everything's already cut up for you. So you just can, kind of have to go over and have a look, um, learn, a, learn the structures and stuff like that. So I hope this overview of CBR has given you a really good understanding of what it's like to study at Newcastle using case-based learning. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I hope I've touched on everything. And um, you know, what is CBR, pros and cons, and then a look at our timetable. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below or DM me on Instagram. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye the lungs you'll probably shut up you but what does that look like i'll include a... um